Hello everyone. I'm taking a break from Gran Turismo Sport. I also purchased uh, Gran Turismo 7, which I think I will start uh, playing tomorrow. Uh, but today I decided to go back to Project Cars 2, my favorite uh, racing game slash sim. Uh, I decided to continue <coughs> continue the career, uh, which I haven't touched for a very, very long time. So, I'm still in tier 4 of Open Wheel. It's a Formula Renault 3.5 championship. Let's go to it. Uh, the next round is on Red Bull Ring GP layout. Uh, uh, let's check the career settings. Everything was pre-set up. I already check 106 should be a right opponent skill level. Uh, I'm keeping the aggression at 70 just because they're too aggressive at 100 and they're crushing to me. I allow restarts for obvious reason. Uh, let's save, practice, qualifying, and race all full length. So let's go to practice. I haven't played that game for a very, very long time, so I will need some time. Just to get used to it, I already set up my wheel. I already have my dashboard ready on the second monitor, which should kick it in in just a moment. Hopefully. Uh, okay, so uh, I don't think I have any setup for that car. 21 degrees ambient, 29 degrees uh, truck temperature. It should be uh, warm enough. So it's Red Bull Ring GP. I have some setup here. Uh, qualifying soft and wet. Let's go with softs. I'll have a quick look, though I haven't touched uh, much, I think, here. Uh, for some reason, my dashboard is not kicking in, which is worrying. Let's see if, uh, if it will kick in if I st start driving. Okay, I know what it is. I did some changes to my network setup at home. I haven't played the game for a long time. I need to get used to it. I need to also switch off that... That all works. I don't know how I can... Look at that. Okay, no, 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 that was a mistake. I don't want to go there. Oh, here we go. That's how I change it. That's what I want. Wanted to get rid of that mirror. It would be useful in online, but here I want to go a bit more realistic. So, time-wise, I'm aiming at something around 1 minute 19 seconds. Let's see if I can do it. I need to get used to... I want to cancel the pit stop, here we go. It was really annoying to have a display there. I need uh, I need to change my load cell. Here we go. Should be a bit harder to load the wheels now, I was locking there. I already forgot uh, how hard it is on the curves in the game.
Okay, I have no idea what my lap times are. Let me just charge the Motec. 123, that's way, way too slow. As I said, 119, I really need to uh, practice. My tires are still a bit cold. Missing the apex, which is costing me time. I'll get there, I'll get there. I want tire, the right front is still a bit coldish. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm cutting the time by another second, so I'm not sure what was the previous uh, lap time. The tire temps are looking good now. I'm at 1 minute 20 seconds, 0.6, that's still a bit too high, I need to find another second. I think I can find a time this last two corners, I'm pretty sure I'm too slow there at the moment. Yeah, I need to use the, all the grip I have in that car, and I have quite a lot of grip. One, yeah, that's 0 0.9 seconds. I'm getting there, I'm fourth at the moment. Which, which is good. I would be happy with top five. Don't need to be first every single time, right? I'm finding some more time, 
to tens. Okay, I went a bit too deep there. Uh, don't know how good the time would be. I would have been if I haven't messed it up. And this uh, this time is going to be invalidated as well, unfortunately. Oh, they're really fast in these corners. I'm losing time there. Good tire temps. Around 80 each tire. Uh, oh, someone's behind me. The brake temps are looking good as well. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a surprise. Uh, damage. Box if you need to. They're braking there in different uh, place, kind of. On fourth, the first two have the same exact time of 1 minute, 19 seconds and 5 58 hundredths of a second. Uh, one tenth of a second is the third one, and I'm one twelve hundredths of a second. Not too bad. I think oh, it was exactly 0.700. Uh, okay. Um, I could continue this practice, but I think I am where I want to be. I won't be wasting more time. My previous lap was very, very similar below uh, below 20 so let's skip to end and move to qualification there is no point spending more ah, actually I don't know how much that car how much fuel that car needs I need to find it so I need to do a few more laps because my dashboard doesn't work and I could switch my computer to a different network uh, I've got two different firewalls and routers here um, but instead I'm just going to do a few more laps with the Motec showing me my fuel consumption. Where did they put me? Okay, the game sometimes gets a bit crazy. Okay, at the moment I have 62 and a half liters. It shows me fewer per lap three liters, but I want to do a few laps just to verify that. Cold tires and cold brakes. A bit harder to stop that car in time. There's someone behind me. Let's see if I can keep him behind me.
I think three or four laps should be enough just to give me some indication. Okay, it shows the average of 3.57. So that's so that still not enough laps to have a good indication. So let's give it another two or three. sector interesting I lost everything in the last corner as well Uh, it shows me now 3.5 average, last lap 3 liters, so I need another... I need another lap or two, that should have some good indication. It will be a 20 laps race. I want to make sure I don't have to go to pitch to refuel. Quite wide there. I think I went too slow in that left cor left corner. I um I downshifted and I think that wasn't necessary. It doesn't matter though. Uh, I'm not driving now to do the best time, but just to know how much fuel I need. It's 3.44 at the moment, last lap 3.1, no 3.01, and the previous lap was 
Okay, so that I should have a good fuel reading after this lap. Average still shows 3.4 liters per lap. So I'm oversteer there at the exit of the corner. Higher temps are really good. I'm still going faster. If it continues, I may actually increase the AI difficulty. So the fuel wise is now 3.36, so I would say 3.3, 3.3, .3. 3 .3. Uh, that should be safe. So when I was doing the practice offline, I know that they, I can do times around what I did, but I will increase their difficulty for, for qualification by one, we'll see how it goes. Uh, just so I can check the fuel uh, so it's 3.3 I said so it's 33 66 liter for 22 laps uh, and what I have at the moment I have 63 liters and I believe that will be enough so I think I'm counting three liters per uh, okay I'll take the risk uh, 63 this um, so I'm ready, okay, let's skip to the end, the practice session uh, is over, uh, and let's do, let's continue the qualification, and here let's exit, so I can modify the difficulty. Um, so I'm going to increase the difficulty to 10, I'll do 108. 108 um, and we are into the qualifying 15 minute session p5 would be good So, uh, let's change to qualifying setup. I think it has slick, 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 different amount of fuel. Yeah. Let's start. Oh, they don't want to let me go because there is a train of cars in the pit lane. Let's get these tires up right. Take it easy on the outlap. It would be good to have some free air. From the other hand, I could get some good slipstream. Oh, 
Oh, the tires are still very, very cold. You've got the pace to take more. Come on, you can do it. Not on the first lap, I need to warm up the tires, they're not ready. The rear tires are getting up to the temp a bit quicker than the front. Okay, the tire stems are much better. 119.8. Ninth at the moment. I missed one gear, should have been on the second gear, was on third. That definitely costed me some acceleration out of that uh, right-hander. One eighteen point nine seven. That's P three at the moment. I have fuel for two more laps, I think. Oh, probably three more laps even. That was a bit of slight there in that last corner. P2. With 118.6. That's a second quicker than I really wanted to be here on the track. Didn't see that coming. Same time as on previous lap. But a really bad exit out of this corner.
I'm not going to slow down. Okay. It's going to be P2. Don't want to get a penalty. Well, best case scenario would be P2. Um, it's worth mentioning that uh, you know having a wrong gear in a corner is not just a bad acceleration out of the corner. There's some sort of yeah. Okay. Um, return to pit box. But it's also a different uh, differential, different way of working differential. If the gear is wrong and the refs are wrong, so. You drive usually driving to the corner too slow. Uh, my sector one is really good actually. I'm gaining a lot of time over them there. My sector two is could have been better. Sector three seems to be slower as well. Interesting. So sector one is where I'm sub I've got superiority over them. Sector two, three is where I'm losing. Still, it's just uh, just slightly off the pace. Um, I'll take a sh well, I'm going to wait the whole six minutes. I want to make sure, I want to give them time to actually try to improve. And in six minutes, I will be trying to do the 20 laps race. Oh, the guy behind, it's really close. Not a big difference there. It's, I think it's going to be a really interesting race. I'll be right back. Okay, um, doesn't look like they're improving. So they're all on track, so let's give them a moment. Qualifying truck temperature and ambient are the same as they were during the practice. Forecast this light cloud, I'm curious how the race is going to look like. One of the things I have to prepare for the race is uh, alternative strategy just in case I need to change to wet. Uh, so I'm not getting any fuel, uh, change tires to wet. 
Now I need to check the tire pressures I have, but that will be completely different than what it is with. Uh, so yeah, I don't I don't really know. I'm going to keep it what it is. Uh, <clears throat> I won't be repairing the car, so that's already just in case I need to change to it. How's my repair only look like? Uh, no changes, but that's all over the place. So in Project Cars 2, if you go for a pit, even if you don't change the tires, they will still adjust the pressure. So it has to be what you want to, what you want it to be. Everything but the gear, but the mechanical. So it's aero and suspension, just in case. Okay, that looks good. That's if I need to. Uh, Two minutes left. I think they won't be improving. I'm going to skip to end. I think that also registers the time. So, and let's go to the race. Okay, P2. That's what the qualification gave me. Alan Burton show Renault Sport. Renault Sport has to be a factory team, right? Uh, okay, so. That's the proper setup, high temperatures. Not a bad start, stay right behind him, coming in front. Wow, that was nice, didn't expect that. Tires are warm because uh, there are warming blankets used, being used in that series for the race. Though I have to remember that I'm much slower in sector 2 and 3, or they will be catching. So I don't expect a win here. Or at least I expect a lot of uh, fighting. They're right behind. Half a second. Good there is no DRS here. Oh, that's really wide. <laughs> Hopefully no one needs that marker. As in my slipstream, 0-3. That was a good T1. Let's hope uh, I'm hoping to have a good T2 as well. Lock the front right wheel slightly, even though I have a quite a hard uh, load cell at the moment, it's still possible to lock. I need to go defensive here, he's right behind, I messed up that last corner. One leg behind.
I put some distance between myself and the uh, second one. Somehow I managed with it. A bit, a bit slower lap than the previous one, but it's still a good gap to the second one. The worst part is, I don't know my tire wear. Because usually I have it all on a dashboard on a second monitor, but due to the changes to the home network, my PC is now in different network, different subnet than my PS5. So the data is not being sent to the dashboard. I could easily fix it. But I don't want to pause the game. So I'm just going to continue this one single race without dashboard. Almost three seconds now, that's not bad. I was looking at the Motec and with the speed it's just a moment and you are on the grass I'm not even sure which lap it is now. Let's see if the Motec shows me that. Seven, seven out of twenty.
I think I have quite a good consistency. I can see those uh, lap times within 0.2 all the time. And consistency is the king. I think they accelerated a little bit. I lost some time, some ground. I had more than three seconds. I, I have more than three seconds here in sector one. That's the best sector time of anyone so far. Great job, keep it up. Yes, I'm the strongest in sector one, so that wasn't hard to do. They're much faster in those uh, fast corners here, in that section. Starting with that left-hander. Good tire temperatures, good brake temperatures. I'm not gaining much now, it's pretty much staying at the same level, maybe a little bit. It's lap 10, so it will be half the race after this lap. The tires still feel fine. So I know that they actually were quite quickly in, in those Formula Renault cars. But so far so good when it comes to the tires. I extended the gap a little bit, it's almost 4 seconds. Halfway, halfway through, 11, that's 11th lap. The fuel looks good, still 32 liters, should be enough. A small lock there, of the front right wheel. Nothing big though, don't feel the flat spot, I don't actually think that the game simulates flat spots. I 
I know Assetta Corsa Competizione does, but I'm not sure about Project Cars 2. I don't think I've ever felt a flat spot in that game. Check the Motec club times. So my best time is 1 minute 19 seconds. That's I know that that's slower than the AI, but I think I'm gaining enough in the first sector to stay stay in front if I don't do any mistakes. Don't make any mistakes. A bit slower lap. Half a second out of the consistency. I usually I'm usually staying within 0203. But that can also be a sign of a tire wear. Lap 13 out of 20. I love that helmet uh, view, helmet cam in that game. Even the head tilting, head shake. Such a well simulated feature. I wish all, all the games had the same. Seven laps to go. A good advantage of around four seconds. Another look in the braking zone. Wasn't braking hard enough in that first uh, first section of the braking zone. Then I had to brake uh, harder when I had lower speed. And the lower the speed, the easier it is to lock the wheels because there is less downforce working. Obviously, the higher the speed, the more downforce, the stronger the ground effect, and uh, harder to lock the wheels.
the gap drops a lot in the braking zones and then just grows again when I'm on the straight. And they are still coming out of the corners. Fifteen laps done, six laps to go. I mean, five laps to go. How am I counting that? Five liters of fuel left. The average uh, fuel burn is three liters per lap, more or less. I had extra three liters just in case, so all good there. Shouldn't have to worry about fuel. to go but the gap definitely dropped that was more than four seconds it's just below four seconds now the race isn't over yet so anything can happen. to go. One has to be really careful coming out of the corner, the tight right-hander, uh, it's so easy to oversteer there and lose the control of the car and go flying and a spin there would be race over bit uh, wider coming out of this corner uh, that that curb didn't want to release the car it was sucking me in 
gonna have to work harder. Two laps to go. The gap is going down. They're definitely driving faster than I am at the moment. I wish I had uh, data to see my tire wear. It's probably quite high at the moment. The temperatures are quite high and uh, those tires durability is quite low. I think in a previous race I had like 30% left of tires. Yeah, they were pretty much gone. It was so long ago that I have to double check it if my data is uh, correct out of memory. And that's going to be a final lap. Final lap, and we're shipping free. Keep it on the island and take the checkered flag. Go on, you can do this. I see them in my mirrors now, on those straights. But that's okay. I just to avoid any mistakes now, those last few corners. And it's going to be another win. It was a good attack on the first corner of the first lap, just after the start. Gave me P1 and I kept that P1 till, till the finish, right? Right. It is a win. That was pretty good race. So good to be back at Project Cars 2. But I'm planning to do quite a long session of Gran Turismo 7 tomorrow. Just got the game yesterday, install it. Run it just to make sure it runs. Uh, and skipped that, well, didn't skip. Uh, I waited for that long first video to finish so I'm all ready for tomorrow to do some Gran Turismo 7 campaign kilometers per hour that's quite slow I know that they have that uh, in Formula 1 in Monaco but I think all other trucks are 100 if I remember correctly I can see mine at the end there you've won the race fantastic drive fantastic it was a great great and fun drive, just 2.3 seconds advantage. I actually had a best lap of the race. That's a huge surprise. Uh, I didn't expect that. That was after I increased the difficulty from 106, as I initially thought would be enough, to 108. Uh, yes, fastest lap. They don't give bonus points though for fastest lap, so it doesn't matter. How did my teammate do? 
Nine. So that's two points as well. And as a team, we got 27 points, which is good. And the standing, I have four wins out of four races. Uh, I don't always get wins, but this series I do. 100 points. And as a team, we are five podiums, four wins. Top. Lovely. Lovely. Let's continue and let's uh, finish the stream. Uh, I usually don't do more than one race project cars. It's on a, already an hour and 12 minute session practice qualifying and, and race. It takes time. So I want to thank you all for uh, watching and I wish you a good afternoon, evening, and I see you next time. Bye.